emerged from the port area in Monrovia carrying bags of UN food aid. In government-held areas of the capital, starvation has plagued many residents. Since insurgents from Liberia came rebel movement Lerd took Monrovia's port and surrounding district nearly four weeks ago. Lerd fighters yeah. chased them away and attempted to regain control of the situation. They don't want to be blamed. We are totally in control of the situation. That's why I say the men are putting the severum out of the fence because we don't want to be blamed for the looting of the poor. The UN said on Wednesday that a ship moored off Liberia could start unloading desperately needed food aid within days if rebels withdrew from the port area as promised. But they say more needs to be done to facilitate the delivery of food aid. Well, there are definitely not enough peacekeepers on the ground yet. Um, the first battalion of Nigerian uh, ECOWAS troops are almost up to strength, and they've done a wonderful job. And uh, their, their mere presence has been a symbolic and has helped to calm things. It's been wonderful. And the fact that the Americans are sitting over the horizon has also had a symbolic effect. And, uh, but we need more actual troops on the ground. U.S. helicopters could be seen over Monrovia's coast on Wednesday, but embassy officials refused to comment on their mission. Despite international pressure to intervene, the United States has only sent about 100 Marines to Monrovia, including those protecting the U.S. Embassy.